always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love is all around you. You search for love outside yourself when love is all around you. Love is everywhere, but you need to have the eyes to see. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 140, Nasdaq is up 116, SP is up 10, gold contract up $29.50, trading at 1793 an ounce. We get silver up 59 cents, 23 dollars 82 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 209, 2 dollars 9 cents, 78 dollars 76 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note trading up 18 ticks at 131.11. The 30 year up 25 at 161.08 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 476 tra six ticks, trading out at 94.340. Euro is at 115. The yen is at 113.75, and the British pound is at 134 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the spies have a little tougher time holding price. I expect it's going to stay up there, though. Uh, bottom line is that we got to a price point today of 467. We're at 465.59 right now. You're at, uh, at a new all-time highs. NDX 100, little dip, yeah, a lot different actually. Uh, NDX 100, I don't see this thing backing off today. Uh, you have the ND, the Qs right now, they're trading up. Uh, whoop, let's, there we go. The Qs are trading up uh, five bucks, I believe, uh, 467. And you have 31 million shares um, right now, and uh, you got to take a look at Nvidia. I mean, and, and this is like, <laughs> this is just a mind blower. I mean, look at this thing, folks. Okay, so yesterday we closed at uh, 265. You're trading 299 right now. Uh, bottom line, monster number. And they don't come up with numbers until uh, the 17th of November. So pretty wild. Uh, inside of the NDX 100, actually, let, let's go look at Qualcomm also. Close that thing. Okay, so Qualcomm and NVIDIA are putting the juice. Close that. Nope. There we go. If we take a look at Qualcomm, Qualcomm stopped moving yesterday. Uh, oh, my God, look at this. <laughs> you know, this is when, you know, fundamentally someone always knows something, too. So before the numbers, they stopped moving. Yesterday, we went from 135 to 138. You gapped higher today. You opened at 156. And let's put this on a weekly and take a look. Yeah, you're going to go for the highs, man. That's the bottom line. You're taking out a consolidation. Top of the consolidation is 152. You're over it. Bottom line is going for the highs. Gold. Gold contract out here caught a bid. Uh, what you have with the, and this was, you know, so what, they, what happened here is this. Before the Fed announcement yesterday, you, you had the smoke gold. And, you know, the bottom line is that uh, gold trades like this almost every day, whether it's up or down 20 bucks anyway. But, but the bottom line, they got it down. They got it from 1789 to 1758. You closed out at 1763. Today, what you have out here, and, and by the way, folks, what happens on something like this, this is what I want to show you, too, just in case you're, you're new to the commodities market. Not necessarily the commodities market, but you're looking at the commodities market, and you're trading the equity market. The commodities market, when you look at these prices, like up $29, well, we're really not up $29 because... Well, we are up $29, but we're up $29 from 1.30 yesterday afternoon. That's how this works. If you think of that, hey, man, it doesn't seem like you know, we were up that much. Well, the bottom line is that that's because when they calculate this, they calculate it on when the pits close. And in, in the gold contract, the pits close at 1.30. So that, that's what you have happening here. Uh, that being said, though, guess what? It's caught the bid. It has the volume behind it. Uh, now, that being said, let's go to take a look at the GDX, because what you have, just as one of the Tigers is saying, this is great, uh, the bottom line is that we had gold going higher, and then the gold equities aren't holding price. You know, that being said, though, guess what? They have volume behind the move. They sold them off. They sold every one of these off, too, by the way. Um, you know, the GDX was at 32.68. Uh, you're at 31.75. You get volume behind the move, though. My take is that these are ABC structures on the way up. There are definitely potential ABC structures on the way up right now. Uh, but th those, those numbers are right across the board. There's no doubt. Notes and bonds. So the note and bond market, we go take a look at the 
10-year first. The 10-year right now is trading up 18 ticks. Uh, we, we, saw, we saw the first acceleration uh, about a week ago. You know, we had hit the bottom. You did that with light volume. It took off. First time we went up on the 10 years, 3 point, uh, uh, 2, 2.4 million contracts. Uh, today, you don't have a huge amount of contracts today. It's not, a, it's not an ABC up because you, you basically come back too far. But the bottom line, they want higher price. And what this is about, this is about a couple different things. The, the biggest one today happened to be, let me go over and take a look at the British pound for you, was that the Bank of England did not go up on their rates. And the market was looking for them to go up on their rates. So you can see the pound, the pound basically went from 134, 71 to 136, no, 130, yeah, 130, where are you? 130, 134, yeah, 134, man. 134, we're at 134.99 right now. So we'll see how that baby shakes out. Uh, it looks to me like uh, what you have out here, um, well, let's go through the dollar first. So the, do the dollar is trying to basically get to the top of its consolidation. Now, this is going to be really intriguing if it can't make it because what you have is that the dollar got above the swings that were out here Monday and Tuesday, which is the 9430. Uh, right now, you're at 94350. You know, we'll see whether it can handle it. Uh, but there's still more selling up at, the, up at that high. Um, I would say that uh, gold's actually performing pretty good, and we still have the dollar at all-time highs. We get into the uh, oil market. We have with oil out here today. Oil right now is trading. This active contract is trading down $2.06. It hit a low today of seven of seventy eight twenty eight. We're at seventy eight seventy eight right now. That's uh, you heard that correct. Seventy eight point seventy eight. Okay, so oh, this one's going to be interesting. Wow. Okay, so you get volume on the way down. Now, if you're into candlestick charting, right, that could look like a last engulfing, folks. Okay, and it actually is. But this is what the difference is. A last engulfing is after. A downtrend and we certainly don't have a downtrend in oil right now it's down three days that's not a downtrend um, bottom line um, 78.54 I suspect you'll probably get some kind of a bounce there stay right there folks come right back